Hey everyone, this is Brian Marino with Apex Software. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how to use the Leica D810 Touch with Apex Sketch version X. For this demo, I'm gonna be using my iPad Pro with my Disto D810. I already have it paired via Bluetooth and I already have it configured the correct way. For anyone no wanting to know how to configure their Disto, look in the description below and there will be a link to a page that'll tell you how to configure your Disto in settings to have it send over everything correctly. What you're looking at on the right side of the, the iPad screen is an emulator. So this is emulating what I'm seeing on my Disto. The first thing you might notice is on the left side, there's some arrows uh, with an off button in the middle. And then on the right side, there's a Bluetooth icon. You won't see this unless you're connected via Bluetooth to a device and you won't see it unless you have it configured as shown in the link in the description. So if you're not seeing it, check your settings, make sure everything's set correctly, make sure you're connected via Bluetooth. Once you have everything configured correctly, we're ready to start measuring. So I'm gonna quickly go over just kind of how everything works. So the first thing is on the left side, the arrows with the off button, we want that on. So what we need to do is tap the button right below off and that should change it to on. What that does is it turns on the arrow keys on the Disto so that we can use it in AVX to tell it what direction to draw. It also turns the equal button in the center of the arrows into an enter button. So it's gonna work just like the enter button does on the touchpad or on your keyboard if you're using a desktop. So to get started sketching, I'm gonna just use my finger and kinda of drag my cursor into the position I wanna start drawing from. And then I'm gonna tap equal on the disto to place that cursor down on the sketch page. So from this point, we're ready to start taking our measurements. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the round button in the center of the disto, and that's gonna enable the laser. So from this point, let's go ahead and take our first measurement. So as you can see, our first measurement came in at 21.14 feet. So what we're gonna to want to do is send that number into AVX. So the way we do that is I'm gonna tap the button right below the blue Bluetooth arrow on the right side of the screen. And you'll notice in the HUD on the right side of AVX, 21.14 showed up. So next we need to tell AVX what direction do we wanna draw this line. In this case, we wanna draw it down. So I'm gonna tap the down arrow on the Disto and it's gonna draw that line for me, okay? So once I've confirmed my measurement, I'll go ahead and tap equal and it'll place that line on the page. From here, we're ready to take our next measurement. So we'll go ahead and tap the red round button in the center of the disto to enable the laser and measure our next wall. And as you can see, the next wall is 12.01 feet. So we wanna send that number over to AVX. So we'll tap the button below the Bluetooth arrow to send it over. Then we'll tap the left arrow on the disto panel to draw it to the left. And then we'll tap enter or equal to place it. And we'll basically repeat that to complete our sketch. So let's go ahead and take the next measurement. We'll tap the round red button on the center of the disto. Take the measurement, which in this case is 3.66. We'll go ahead and tap the Bluetooth button to send it over. And we want this line to go up, so I'll tap the up arrow, and then I'll tap equal. Next wall, we'll go ahead and enable the laser. Take the measurement, send it into AVX select the direction we want to go and tap equal. Next wall, take the measurement, send it into AVX, select the direction, tap equal. Next measurement, send it over, tap the direction arrow, tap equal. Okay, for these last two walls, this should square up and close. So I can measure the last two walls to confirm my measurements, but I'm gonna just go ahead and close it. So I'm gonna tap the 12.3 to draw that line up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tap the bullseye to close it. And now we have our shape and we're ready to define it. But before we do that, I'll go ahead and center and fit to blow it up as big as possible. And then we'll go over to define, select the area. We'll call this storage and apply it. So that's how you would create a sketch using your Disto laser. The basics of it are you take your measurement, you send that measurement into AVX, you tap the direction you want the line to go, and you tap equal to place the wall. I hope everyone found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you know anyone that would be interested in this, feel free to like, share, and or subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates. Otherwise, I will catch y'all on the next one.